Walk was sentenced in 2021 to 18 years for snatching 17-year-old Hayley Dodd from a remote road near the town of Badjingara in 1999. It was the highest sentence ever imposed in WA for manslaughter. In a unanimous decision, three Supreme Court judges have now upheld his conviction and the length of his sentence, an outcome welcomed by Hayley's loved ones. Great birthday present. Her mother hopeful this may finally put an end to the court process. It's just never ending. I just think I'm on, I'm on like a, I'm a hamster on a treadmill and it's going, 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 going. I think one of these days I'm just going to go... Walk has always denied having anything to do with Haley's disappearance. He wasn't charged until 2015 after a cold case review of the evidence discovered an earring, believed to have belonged to Haley, in the fibres of a car seat cover seized in 1999 from the vehicle Walk was driving. By that time, Walk was serving a lengthy jail term in Queensland for the violent sexual assault of another woman he'd picked up on a remote road. He stood trial for Haley's murder twice after an earlier conviction was quashed and a retrial ordered. Walk appeared in court via video link from Acacia Prison where he's serving his term. He now has just one possible avenue of appeal left and that's to go to the High Court in Canberra. In upholding Walk's sentence, the Court of Appeal noted he might die in jail but ruled his offences, including his crimes in Queensland, were so serious the term was appropriate. Under the state's no-body, no-parole laws, introduced at the instigation of Mrs Dodd, Walk faces the prospect of serving his entire term unless he reveals the location of her body. I think the only person that could tell us where she is, and that's uh, Walk, and he's not going to because he has a real big problem with accepting responsibility for his own actions. A mother running out of hope to be able to put her daughter to rest. Brianna Shepherd, ABC News.